Ladies and gentlemen, it has come to my attention that I have been called out by another anime reactor, a big one as well. Someone that I used to actually look up to and perhaps impacted my decision on starting anime reactions myself. Mad Lad of Culture has tweeted at me. Let's see what he said. I still can't believe some certain Kaw Kaw TV called it the greatest revenge anime, even for clicks. This anime has been shit since episode two, and Lord, I hope we don't get a season two. And yes, the finale was ass, and I absolutely agree, 100% agree. We are on the same page here. I think Kingdom of Ruins is absolute trash. And I even mentioned this in my videos. So why would Mad Lad suddenly tweet at me? By the way, this was on December 23rd. Bro tweeted, on Christmas Eve Eve. This is a special time when you're supposed to be spending time with your family, your loved ones, friends, and try to relax during this downtime before the new year starts. But what did he do? Bro is schizo tweeting at the void. I want you guys to pay attention. 221 views is the impression here. These are all from my viewers. Cause when I saw this tweet yesterday, it was at 109 impressions. And then I told my boys to go there and make things clear, because I don't really use Twitter. In fact, this is the first time I've logged into my account in over two years. Thank you, Rio, for posting and doing this shit. And in fact, here, here's a little bit more fun. If you look at the stats here, the one repost this tweet got was from Rio, which is one of my members. And the likes is not even visible, meaning that it's probably a private account, perhaps an alt account made by Mad Lad to like his own comments, because who the fuck is he tweeting at on Christmas Eve Eve? I want to make, make this very clear. I do not hate Mad Lad of Culture. In fact, I've only spoken positive things about Mad Lad of Culture. And I do even want to collaborate with him. But why would he come out of fucking nowhere and call me out? You know what the saddest part is? And again, I mentioned this. I used to look up to this guy. I watched his reactions. If you look at his videos, all you can see is passion and genuine love for anime oozing out in every thumbnail. And I think he's a very entertaining guy. But why would a channel that has 35,000 subscribers. A channel, if you compare to mine, is almost pretty much like six times as bigger than mine, right? Why is he calling me out? Why? And I think I know two reasons. Here's the two reasons, or maybe even three. This is my guess on why Mad Lad of Culture did this. First is the most uncharitable and hostile way that I interpret this. Bro is jealous. Bro is jealous that with my clickbait title, I managed to get 10,000 views while he actually did not make a video on Kingdom of Ruins. If you look at Kingdom of Ruins here on his channel, he only made shorts on it. So he obviously didn't catch on the trend. So is he jealous that I managed to capture the time, like capture the anime trend on time and got the views? I'm not really sure. If anything, it should be me being jealous and saying, what the fuck? Why am I not getting the viewership that Mad Lad's getting, right? But no, you know what I do? I stay in my own lane. I put my head down and I fucking grind so that I can make content that I am proud of and it's undeniably entertaining. And I try to focus on my community and worry about nothing else because that's all that matters to me. But bro is tweeting on Christmas Eve Eve calling out my fucking title about Kingdom of Ruin. And the saddest part, again, I agree with this guy. If you looked at any of my finale, which again, my members retweet, a posted, replied at him, I say that this anime is trash, but bro didn't even look at my content. Bro didn't even do the due diligence to understand whether I thought this is peak or not. And in fact, if you look at episode one two months ago and all you had to do, all, you, all, all the content you had was episode one, I still stand by my take that Kingdom of Ruins, based off of episode one, the potential to be the best revenge story, I still believe so. But here's the other thing. I didn't even declare that it's the best revenge story of this year. I have a question mark here. Do you know why I have a question mark there? Do you know why everything I say, I start with a qualifying statement saying, maybe, assuming, perhaps, if. It's because I don't want to say anything as a fact because I'm a fucking monkey and I'm just talking about my opinions on anime. But I still do stick with this opinion. But Mad Lad of Culture, he didn't even screenshot my video's title. He just posted some defamatory shit about me with the fucking my anime list of a rating 6.43 i think it should be lower than 6.43 this anime was fucking dookie and again we we're on the same page and now that is the most uncharitable way of viewing this in fact 
I'm not even like the most uh, the other thing, the other option, the charitable opinion of what why he's doing this, I believe could boil down to mental health issues. Most YouTube creators, whenever they see other competitors rise up, and again, I'm gonna show you this website here. This is called Social Blade, a website that's pretty good for looking at the amount of views that a YouTube channel might have, okay? And I wanna I want you guys to pay attention to this. Bro is getting 210,000 views on a monthly basis. His subscriber gain is fucking crazy, 3.1 thousand. But I want you to pay attention to this figure, 210,000 views per month. And again, this is a channel that's six times as bigger than mine. You know how many views I'm getting right now? I am getting 270,000 views per month. So again, is it purely because I'm getting more views on a monthly basis that he feels threatened, that he feel like he had to fucking tweet at me like this? I don't really know what's going on. But then I would implore Mad Lad of Culture to realize, bro, you're uploading one video a day. And even if you do that, every look at the average viewership per video. 14,000 here, 9.6K, 5K, 14K. You are fucking killing it. Do you know how many videos I get, views I get on my regular videos? If I'm lucky, I get 1,000 views. But I'm pumping out like 10 videos a day. I start to stream in the morning before I go to work. I make some video reactions. I'll go to work. I come back home. I make three more enemy reactions. I'm on the fucking grind. So it kind of makes sense that I'm why I might have a little bit higher viewership than on a monthly basis. But again, it doesn't matter because his average viewership is way higher. And if he pumped out the same amount of content that I did, he'd be way ahead of me. So where is this insecurity and jealousy coming from? And again, this is the most charitable, the uncharitable way, if he actually has hostility towards me. Now, the charitable way of viewing this is the mental health thing. A lot of people, whenever they see other creators rise, whenever they see smaller content creators in the same niche start to do better than them, they might feel threatened. In fact, they might feel very jealous and envious. I too suffer from the same thing. In fact, here's a direct example. There was a channel called The Brothers Yo. And this is a channel that was smaller than mine during first Eminence and Shadow reactions. And this channel used to get less views and had less subs than me back in the day. But you know what they did? They figured out that if they focused on their community and they made the videos that their audience wants to watch, they fucking grew like crazy. And at first I was super jealous and I was super envious thinking, why not me? I'm also working just as hard, why not me? And then I realized this jealousy, this envy is not gonna get me anywhere. The best way to use that jealous and envy is to humble yourself and think about what they're doing differently and apply to your own content. And ever since studying the brothers, yo, and focusing on the community aspect of YouTube, I've been doing pretty well. And I think that's the best way to go about envy and jealousy in the content creation space. And again, if he truly is struggling with mental health, and if he truly is insecure of me, even though, again, I explained if you were pumping out the same amount of content I am, you'd be much ahead of me. Reach out to me, bro. I'm down to talk. I think fellow creators should have an, have an opportunity to talk to each other and maybe get some shit out of the air. I think it's a good way to de-stress. Again, hit me up in the DMs if you want to talk about these kind of things. And finally, my third guess on why he tweeted this. It might be just trolling. Look at this title, right? It says, I still can't believe some certain Kaka -ka TV called it the greatest revenge anime ever for clicks. And like, if you really take it at the first glance, he doesn't straight up say like, this guy's a piece of shit. This guy is a fucking stain, a cancer in the anime reaction community. We need to get rid of him. He doesn't say that. He just said that I'm clickbaiting and which is true. Absolutely, I clickbaited. Absolutely. In fact, the whole point of YouTube is to fucking clickbait. It's to make clickable titles with clickable thumbnails. You do the same thing too. We are all in the same game here. But at the same time, doesn't that feel a little bit hypocritic? Isn't he the hypocrite here? Bro is literally tweeting, trying to say some defamatory shit at me while doing this for clicks. The difference though here is that I was able to clickbait and get 10k views on my Kingdom of Ruins video while bro is tweeting at fucking nobody. Fucking, he's just fucking fighting the shadow. I just want to understand where this is coming from. And remember, there is no bad blood between me and Mad Light of Culture, at least from my end to Mad Light. He's a person that I truly respect, somebody that I think is genuinely most passionate reactions for anime. Like you can just tell. You, you look at a thumbnail, sometimes you can pretty much tell if someone's faking it or someone has genuine love for the anime. I believe he does have genuine love for the anime. And like, I, I'm not one to start drama, right? Again, this is my first YouTube drama, so I'm farming the content, absolutely. But at the same time, I stay in my own lane and I do my own shit. 
But if I'm provoked, if someone calls me out, I feel like I have to make some statements to defend myself, right? And at the end of the day, again, no bad blood. And instead of being divisive like this, instead of farming drama, you know what we should be doing? Something more productive with our time is to collaborate. How about we make content together? How about we start off that podcast that you and Musings of Maverick dropped off a couple a while back, right? Why don't we use our time to work together and make content that both of our audiences will enjoy and grow together rather than do dumb shit like this and fucking... It's just two grown-ass men fucking crying about, what, the anime title of this fucking anime that we both think is trash? I think that this is just a little bit sad. I want to know what's going on. If he truly didn't mean any hatred, if there was no illness, right, and if he was just trying to get my attention with this, then fair. Maybe I overreacted. I feel like I have to do my own part to defend myself. And maybe I think I'm owed an apology. But that's just me, man. It's just sad. Does Christmas Eve Eve and you say this shit when I used to look up to you and I thought that we could collaborate together? And again, based on how he, how he responds to this, this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I don't know, man.